Hello viewers. Let's talk about engine control module and its requirement in vehicles. Basically engine control module is known as powertrain control module or engine control unit. So what the ECM does, the main function of this controller is to get information from sensors and run certain actuator. The vehicle computer uses these inputs to adjust its settings so the vehicle can run in accordance with your driving habit. Let's know about the connecting sensors, which are playing the important role in ECM. Engine coolant temperature sensor, air temperature sensor, manifold absolute pressure sensor, mass airflow sensor, idle air controller, crankshaft sensor, camshaft sensor, throttle position sensor, oxygen sensor, knock sensor, Engine coolant temperature sensor. Its function is to instruct radiator fan to turn on and cooling down the liquid after getting temperature above 75 degree. It is usually located at the bottom of radiator or top radiator hose towards engine block. Air temperature sensor. Air temperature sensor monitors the temperature of air entering into engine. The ECM needs this information to estimate the air density and can prepare a balanced air mixture. It is usually located in air filter box or pipe that is attached to the air filter box. Manifold absolute pressure sensor. This sensor is a key sensor because it senses the engine load. This sensor measures air pressure which tells ECM the current altitude of a vehicle. With the help of this information ECM can adjust the ignition timing and fuel enhancement. It is bolted on the intake manifold or linked with a vacuum pipe from intake manifold. Mass airflow sensor. This type of sensor measures the volume of air entering into engine. Actually this information helps the ECM to balance and deliver the correct fuel mass to the engine. It produces more current to keep temperature required by the manufacturer. It is located on air cleaner box, idle air controller. It works to keep RPM of engine steady. It is an actuator not a sensor. It increases the RPM of car until the coolant temperature sensor indicates the high engine temperature. Crankshaft sensor. It monitors the position and rotational speed of crankshaft and this information is important for ECM to control ignition system timing. Camshaft sensor. It is an electromagnetic sensor which produces voltage when a metal object moves past it. The sensor contacts with ECM for position of camshaft. It is fixed at the end of camshaft, throttle position sensor. This sensor is linked with accelerator pedal and the throttle body sends information about injector pulse width and spark timing. It is located in throttle body and it is neither washable nor repairable. Oxygen sensor. It measures the proportion of oxygen in fuel and the amount of fuel consumed by the engine. There are two types of oxygen sensors. One is zirconia and another one is titania. NOx sensor. This sensor contains a crystal that detects mechanical stress and produces a voltage when the car knocks. It also allows different grade fuel without any type of engine problem and it is fixed in engine body. These are the sensor details. But question is what happens when any sensor fails? Well sometimes sensors simply don't work, so don't forget to repair it. Make sure to repair it or replace it with a new one for better performance. Have a safe drive. Thank you.